Hi mathematicians, Mrs. Snyder here. I thought since we had created our balance scale, we could now look at ways that we can use our balance scale in our house. So I am going to talk to you today about measuring and comparing mass. Specifically, we're gonna compare the mass of different objects in our home. So I've just selected a collection of objects. I have a marker, a dice, a stapler, an eraser, a container of Play-Doh, and some yarn. And I'm gonna model for you how we can use the scale to help compare the mass of two different objects. So we'll start with a marker and a dice, okay? And before I start comparing the mass of two objects, I'd like to kind of make a prediction. So I hold the objects in my hand just like this and I kind of feel which one I think might have more mass. For these examples, I'm going to predict that the marker has more mass. Place them in the cups and my prediction was correct. The marker does have more mass. It is hanging lower on the balance scale and the, mark, and the dice is raised up on the balance scale. So my prediction was correct. It's a good habit to get into as a mathematician to make predictions or estimates to help you with your thinking. Okay, the next two objects I'm going to measure are going to be the stapler and the eraser. And if I hold those both in my hands, I feel like the eraser has more mass. So that's my prediction. So I'll place the eraser in this cup and the stapler in this cup. And we'll wait for the balance scale to balance out. And if I look closely, they're pretty close, but it appears that the eraser, stapler, sorry, has more mass, just a little bit more mass than the eraser. The last two objects that I'm going to compare are going to be a container of Play-Doh and a ball of yarn. Now, if we look at them, the container of Play-Doh is actually smaller than the ball of yarn. But I predict, based on, based on the feeling in my hands, that the container of Play-Doh is actually going to have more mass than the ball of yarn. So let's test this out. Ball of yarn, container of Play-Doh. And my prediction was correct again. Even though the container of Play-Doh is smaller, it still has more mass. What do you notice and wonder with your objects. Have fun comparing.